not carp, but it's another big bird. Hello everyone, I hope you're all well. Um, just thought I'd put a quick video together today um, about uh, catching perch on commercial still waters. Obviously the size of the perch in these sort of waters can grow to some, some size. Uh, they're often ignored by uh, the avid carp anglers out there, so they're definitely worth targeting. Um, here are some of my top tips. I always find it helpful to fish near to the margins on any commercial fishery, mainly because the, the centre of the lake's often not really got any vegetation or anything, and perch love hiding out and nipping nipping out, grabbing a little snack and then whipping back into their little uh, little hidey hole. And yes, I am fully aware that this fish is not a perch, but there are some, I promise. Often commercial lakes don't let you uh, use uh, jigs or um, drop shot in, so it's got to be a float fish worm for me. Uh, there's a lack of resistance and perch hate any sort of resistance so with a float they don't really feel it meaning you can just strike gently into it and hopefully catch one also don't be scared to use a whole worm um, perch don't really care about the size of a worm they'll, they'll go for it whatever size and also it means hopefully you'll be able to catch a better stamp of fish It's definitely worth um, using a small amount of ground bait just to attract the silver fish in because when the small silvers come in the perch often follow. Again I don't normally feed too much because otherwise you might attract the attentions of the carp and once they get in they'll push everything else out so little and often should hopefully do the trick. Not a carp, but it's another big bird. Obviously this can be a tricky one, um, I often can't really get out late afternoon and evening because I've got kids to put to bed, but um, if you can, definitely is the best time, perch do seem to um, go on the hunt a little bit more, but also if it's a dull day you've got a good chance as well. Another perch, a big one as well.
finally perch off and shoal up together. So if you catch one, you may well find you'll catch some more. I often find as well that if you do hook one, it doesn't spook the other ones. Quite often they actually are quite interested in what's happening, as they are quite inquisitive fish. So do try and stick around, because you may well find that you'll catch much more than one. Take that on day. <laughs> 